Hey everybody, quick video today, just as a response from my last interaction when I was over on Ranty's channel. During the stream, Nathan Oakley showed up, and in typical Nathan Oakley fashion, the first thing he did was started slinging insults rather than trying to discuss the topic at hand. Now, Nathan had just finished two hours of discussing logical fallacies, so that's all he had on his mind. That, and calling me a moron. Over. And over. And over. And over rather than presenting information that debunked the information I had. But then he did a debunk video. Let's see what he said. The power of R compels you. The power of R compels you to believe such silly things. Every single example claimed to demonstrate that the Earth is a globe will start with the presupposition that the Earth is a globe. In this case, the R value. Nathan Oakley seems to think that your entire presentation was uh, using fallacies. Would you agree with that? I would disagree, and I'd also like to point out that he spent half of the video calling me a moron repeatedly. Okay, so, question. Where did you get the R value, radius value, that is the very presupposition your argument is based on? Uh, I did not because nothing in my video was about determining R or using math that relied upon R. Calculating on a globe. The basis for my calculations weren't global. <laughs> Does BM think uh, the globe model <coughs> reification he presented is not based on R? If so, he is, as already demonstrated, a you-know-what. So if I'm going to talk about a globe, yes, it's going to have a radius. So if I'm going to talk about a globe, yes, it's going to have a radius. So if I'm going to talk about a globe, yes, it's going to have a radius. So if I'm going to talk about a globe, yes, it's going to have a radius. So if I'm going to talk about a globe, yes, it's going to have a radius. Yes, it's going to have a radius. The globe model reification used in your demonstration utilizes the R value, you moron. Nathan. If we're going to talk about the different possibilities of the shape of what's under our feet, and one of them is a globe, then yes, that globe is going to have an R value. But I didn't use an actual R value in any of my calculations. You're saying that I assumed the R. I did for my model. And then I removed the R for your model. Oh, wait, no. I didn't remove the R for your model, because apparently your model... Without further ado... On behalf of the Supreme Council and my highly esteemed and distinguished colleague who has been knighted, Sir Nathan Oakley, it is my honor and privilege to present the only model of the Earth that has seen the light of day over the past four years. Here it is. Brought to you by our Flat Earth friends over at Google Earth. Hashtag same team. And Google Earth assumes the R. So you are partly correct. For several spots in this video, yes, I did have something that was based on an R value. The distance between Sydney and Adelaide on a globe, and the distances between Australia and South America on a globe. Yes, those measurements would have had an R value because that is calculated to Google Earth. But here's the rub, Nathan. I didn't have to use those values to make my point. Because there are still people in Australia that drive between Sydney and Adelaide, and there are still people that were on a boat that went across the ocean. The people in the boat, the people on the planes, and the people in the cars live in the real world, observable to humans, which is something the Flat Earthers want us to all do. Go out and observe the world. Don't use your special techniques and your instruments. Just go out and observe the world. But beyond all of that, Nathan... If we ignore the fact that I used Google Earth, your model, which incorporates R, and we pay no attention to how far people actually walk on the ground in these distances, not even the math I used included an R value. My math included three components. A known distance between the North Pole and a line of latitude, which is the A and B sides of our triangle, and these known distances are known and while at one point may have been derived from the R value, today, they're based on actual measurements on the ground. And then the inner angle to our triangle. With that information, I use this formula. 
So, can you find the R value in there, Nathan? Because I don't see it. Your distances use the R value on Google Earth. My distances are simple and flat. So for anybody that wants to drive between Sydney and Adelaide and prove to me that the distance isn't about 3,000 kilometers, I invite you. That would be an amazing experiment to do. So if Nathan would like to take a trip by boat, I suggest you to borrow a rowboat and go from New Zealand to Peru and prove to me that the distances that people experience they are wrong and the southern hemisphere is actually bigger than we claim it is. I invite him to do so. But just remember that by doing that, he would debunk his own model, Google Earth, because he can't think of a better model. Oh, I'm sorry, his response to that is that we don't live on a model. No, Nathan, we don't live on a model. And you know what a model actually is. It's a representation of something that's too big for you to understand. But I think most things are too big for you to understand, Nathan. If you need some help, come on over. We'll talk about it. It's okay. Calm down. You don't have to insult people just to try and get your point across. Because as is the rule with every debate or discussion, first person to throw an insult demonstrates that they don't have any valid points. Nathan, question. You ready? How do you convert meters into kilometers? I don't know. How what's do you convert the, meters into kilometers? What's the correct way? You tell me. The correct way is divide meters by a thousand. You didn't do that. So if you have a meter and I divide that meter by 1,000, you don't think that would give you millimeters? Meters into kilometers, Nathan. You just said you divide meters about. by 1,000 to get kilometers. So you're saying I divide something that is one meter long by 1,000 and that will come out to a kilometer Nathan, value. Nathan, it sounds like, it sounds like you are quite literally retarded let's with that statement. Contract. 